Welcome to Weddings Unveiled, the podcast designed to help you build a productive, profitable wedding or event business. Here's your host, Angela Profit. Hi, y'all. It's Angela Profit, your event and productivity therapist, coming to you from the heart of Music City in Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Weddings Unveiled, professional tips and secrets on wedding planning and event design, where we take you behind the scenes of our past experiences in the event industry, what we have learned from them, and how they have made us stronger. This podcast will help you grow a productive and profitable business to launch you into success within the hospitality industry. How many of you have more than one email? Everybody really should. You should definitely have more than one email. So here's my email over here. Um, One, two, three, four. So I have six emails. So this is our client email, which Amanda has access to. Really, it's her email. Um, We operate off of flags and colors, like a kindergartner. But if it's flagged, that means I need to go back and do something. Um, If it has an arrow... That means that she's responded to it or I've responded to it. And the arrows and the flags and the colors is how we communicate. Every once in a while, the server goes down and I'll respond to something or she'll respond to something. So you still have to communicate. This does not take the place of communication. It just helps. Um, Gmail is my personal. I don't really check it all the time. So it's more for like... um, Go fund me. You know, things that really doesn't relate to my team. iCloud is all my social media stuff. It's, it's important, yes, but it's not really my life right now. And so it's there when I want to look at it. Any social media platform that I signed up for and any notifications that I want via email, it all routes to that iCloud email. Okay. Now, it's private, so people can't get that email unless you're on LinkedIn and you pay for premium and you download your contacts. And that's the way that I know people, like, they're, they're very clever. Hey, Angela, as if I'm their freaking friend. Um, great seeing, like they watch videos and stuff I do on Facebook Live. Like, great seeing you. Um, do you want to sell Arbon? If I get one more person that asks me to sell makeup, like, I'm like, I'm not interested. I've got my own shit going on. Like, I just quit responding. I quit. And it's like, you can block that. But, like, actually, some business ventures have come through recently, which are totally legit, and they hire me for consulting. So you kind of have to pre-qualify and weed people out. I'm like, hey, Amanda, call this dude. Like, I don't know. It doesn't really look legit. It doesn't really sound legit. The project sounds super cool, but I don't get excited until a contract's signed and I'm paid and it's done. And I think it's going to be super cool, but... um, Yeah, so you kind of have to pre-qualify. And, like, how do you know if it's a real client if they're coming through your one email, right? So I kind of, like, do this offline, you know, and I teach it. You have a strategy. So, like, when I'm uh, traveling, going to trade shows and conferences, and you're signing up for all these coupon things, it's like I do want that stuff for my clients, but I don't want to look at it every day. It's not important. Maybe on Sundays. So I have another email for that. And then I have another email for um, networking and entrepreneur stuff, for EO. But you want to have a strategy. The other thing with spam, with mail, is um, we now pay for a service. I think it's like 50 bucks a year called Sane Later, which I'm going to talk about that later. But that is in here. And you'll see all of this right down through here. I'm going to talk more about mail in a little bit. But if it's on your computer or if it's on your phone and you want it syncing, I want to make sure that all your stuff's set up correctly. Now, every once in a while, I'll have somebody that's like, I want to pop email because because if I delete it on my iPhone, I want to keep it on my computer, blah, 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 which is fine. But again, know the difference, know your strategy, know what the hell you're doing. Like if I delete an email, I want it deleted across the board. You know, if I file it to a folder, I want it file. I don't want to see it again. IMAP means, th- th- these are my stupid little things, how I remember things. Like IMAP is like, Mapping, Like, I close my eyes. I'm very visual. I think of a map. And I'm like, if I delete it here, it's gone all over the map. (laughs) A 
and then pop to me is like it's gonna keep popping back up in my life <laughs> like this is how I remember stuff okay and so it's like you don't want pop I don't want shit to keep popping up if I delete it it's gone I don't want it you know Thank you so much for listening. Be sure to tune in next week for more tips on how to grow your business. And if you have a question or an unresolved issue that you want guidance on, connect with us on angelaprofit.com. For more valuable resources, again, visit the website. And until next time, remember to stay productive and profitable. You've been listening to Weddings Unveiled with Angela Profit. Join us next time for more insights to help you build a productive, profitable wedding or event business. For more great resources, head over to angelaprofit.com.